in conductometric titration of a strong acid with strong base first we have to determine the corrected conductance of the strong acid here when 0 ml of sodium hydroxide is added the obtained corrected conductance is 9 millisiemens similarly when 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide is added the obtained corrected conductance is 8.08 millisiemens similarly when 1 ml of sodium hydroxide is added the obtained corrected conductance is 6.39 millisiemens similarly all the corrected conductance values are determined after determining the corrected conductance values we have to plot a graph of volume of sodium hydroxide versus corrected conductance here volume of sodium hydroxide is taken on x axis and the corrected conductance is taken on y axis here the scale we have considered is on x axis 1 cm is equal to 0.5 units and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit here on x axis 1 cm is equals to 0.5 units and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit now we have to plot the corrected conductance values with respect to the sodium hydroxide added on the graph here for 0 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 9 millisiemens so for 0 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 9 millisiemens so we have to locate the point next next for 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 0.08 millisiemens so for 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 8.08 siemens similarly for 1 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 6.39 millisiemens for 1 ml of sodium hydroxide the obtained corrected conductance is 6.39 millisiemens 6.3 similarly all the points are plotted on the graph after plotting all the points on the graph we have to join them with the help of a scale the help of a scale while joining the points we have to make sure that most of the points should lie on the same line most of the points should lie on the same line like this similarly we have to join the other side by extending its end now the intersection of these two linear branches now the intersection of these two linear branches will gives us the end point of the conductometric titration now draw a line from this point of intersection to the x axis now the point at which the line drawn from the point of intersection will meets the x axis gives the point of equivalence here this is the point of equivalence the point at which the line drawn from the point of intersection which meets the x axis is the point of equivalence